Innovation. Let's welcome Reverend Emmanuel Kwesi Ziga. Say amen. And lift up your hands and just give God some some praise give god a wave offering just wave unto the lord wave unto the lord bless his name exalt his holy name father we give you thanks and all shall say amen please be seated there are there are many churches that do worship meetings but this church it's not what you have learned, but it's what you have been given. The, the inspiration of worship in this church is a gift of God. Say hallelujah. And, and I do commend the, the leadership of this church for the, the, the love they have for, for worship. I've known Stephen Stanley for many years, and uh, their first call is worship. And I can see the inspiration is upon the church. Say hallelujah, somebody. I give thanks to God for this. Well, open your Bibles to the book of John chapter 5. John chapter 5. And I read from the first verse. John chapter 5 from verse 1. It's a tremendous honor to preach here. And uh, I honor the bishop of the house. My love, my friend, my brother. I salute you. Amen. After this, there was a feast of the Jews. And Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now, there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water step in was made whole of whatever disease he had. Say amen. Let's read the next verse together aloud. Everybody, let's go. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. V verse 6. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? Look at someone and say, What is your case? The Bible says that Jesus was in Jerusalem and he just happened to be by this incredible pool of Bethesda. Jesus had been in Jerusalem for many years. He was born in Israel, born in Bethlehem, grew, and therefore knew the demography of Jerusalem. But the Bible says that at this point, this very day, he happened to pass by the pool of Bethesda. The pool of Bethesda is also called the pool of grace. And around this pool of grace were... The Bible says important folks, meaning men with literally no dexterity, no abilities, and they were described in different categories, the blind, the halted, and many of different kinds of diseases. Are you a medical doctor? Yeah, okay, so I can spar with you here. When the Bible says that people are impotent, it means they don't have the ability to do what is supposed to be done. And all these were around this pool. 
But there was this specific man, 38 years in this condition, who was brought there by the family, hoping that at the time they were there, the angel will come and stay up the pool. And for as many that would jump in first, would receive their healing. Well, I'd like us to analyze this story a little bit. The, the reason why they brought the sick folk there was for the hope that if the angel would come at a time nobody knew when, they would have the opportunity to jump in. Well, what if the, the angel came 1 a.m. in the morning? 2 a.m. in the morning, 12 midnight, at this time, all these sick folks, important folks, might have been so demobilized but for, for waiting that they will be asleep. But you know, because you want to be healed, you wouldn't want to sleep. I can imagine this specific man will stay awake. Then he will see possibly the angel come. But you know, if he screamed that the angel, angel, somebody else would jump in. But he was so demobilized that he couldn't go in. Possibly he would crawl. And, and then try his best, roll whatever he could do. But as quickly as anybody else will see this, they will jump in first. So only God knows how many disappointed times he's had. Seeing this man, this, this angel, staring in the pool of grace and not being able to jump in. Say hallelujah, somebody. I don't know how many of you have ever been disappointed, but disappointments are not fun. They are not interesting things to talk about. But this guy continued for so many years. He was so despondent by this time. Then Jesus appeared one day, and his first question to this man was, Will thou be made whole? Well, my question is, who around there wouldn't want to be made whole? That's why they were there. For, so, so for Jesus to ask that question, he was possibly driving at something else. Because he knew that that was the reason why they were there. So it wasn't a question that should have been asked. It was a, 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 a concluding matter. But anytime God asks you a question, he is driving at a message. Say hallelujah. Well, the man said, well, there is nobody who will put me in when the angel comes. Well, Jesus wasn't talking about an angel. He was talking about your desire. Will thou be made whole? And, and I do believe that you have been on this fast for a while. My question is, will thou be made whole? What are you fasting for? What is your dream? What is your goal? What is your target? What is your inspiration? Not your desperation, but what is your inspiration? I pray that the inspiration of, of, of victory shall be upon you whilst you wait by the pool of Bethesda on this fast, believing God to make a move in your life. Sometimes you can fast and pray in despondency. Other times you can fast and pray in the inspiration with hope and faith. May you shift your fasting motto to the inspiration of hope and faith. Will thou be made whole? Will you desire to see all your dreams come to pass? Even much more than your dreams, will thou be made whole? He was by the pool of Bethesda, the pool of grace. That pool had five porches. Five is the number of grace. So Jesus, the man of grace, Jesus, the God of grace, Jesus, the power of grace, comes to the pool of grace. And so here there was a double grace available. But nobody could be able to be healed. Say hallelujah somebody. What are the chances that Jesus Christ could have gone to somebody else that came to this man? I do believe that today you are this man. Jesus is coming right to you. Will thou be made whole? Will you want your ministry to break through? Will you want your, biz your business to break through? Will thou be made whole? Look at someone and say, yes, I want to be made whole. 
The Bible says when the man said that there's nobody here to help me, Jesus said, get up, rise up and walk. And this man, 38 years in this despondent state, began to walk. Maybe for the very first time. I don't know what time of the day it was. It could be 1 a.m., it could be 3 a.m., it could be 6 in the morning. When the message came to, for him to rise, he rose up, took his bed. You know, I can imagine when he got home, knocked at the door. Uncle Fafa just arose from his sick place and arrived at home, knocking at the door. So somebody opened the, at the door, thought they were seeing a ghost. It could have been a, a state of panic. Because nobody was expecting. Even those who brought the sick folks knew that the chances for them to be healed was very minimal, was very small. I declare this day that extraordinary grace is coming upon your life. And that which many people are looking for, God will give to you. Will thou be made whole? Standing by the pool of grace. Grace is available. So what is grace? Grace here is not just an issue to get by and by. Sometimes we say, oh, by God's grace. Oh, how are things? Oh, by God's grace. I just barely paid the school fees. By God's grace. I just had a beautiful meal. By God's grace. We had some money for the birthday a party for our two-year-old. By God's grace, my husband is healing gradually. By God's grace, my husband is becoming a better husband. By God's grace, my wife is improving a little bit in her cooking or something. She's improving. The spices are getting better. By God's grace, our church is growing. By God's grace, I'm thinking better. Ladies and gentlemen, grace is not only for mega things, it's not just to help you go by and by, but grace is also for galloping progress. There's grace for galloping progress. And today, may you receive grace for galloping progress. Because this man, this man did not have to go through the motion, the modium, and the process everybody else was going through. Jesus met him and suddenly he was as strong as those who were never ever sick. That's galloping progress. I release upon this church grace for galloping progress. Suddenly he became the talk of the town. Suddenly everybody was coming to his house to see the man who was in this state for 38 years. But now he is an example of the wonder working power of God. Who am I speaking to today? Receive this anointing. May you experience the, 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 the immediate list and the sudden list of the work of grace. Say hallelujah somebody. May we see you next year and we will say that look at the grace that took this man from where he is to where he is now today. Where he was and to where he is today. It took others 45 years. It took others 38 years. But as for him, it took him only one day. Receive this grace today. Receive this grace today. Receive this anointing today. Say Hosanna somebody. Will thou be made whole? Will thou be made whole? The man became the, the very voice of the city, the attraction of the city. He was no more a nunquam, he was no more a plebeian, he was now the shining star. A man who grace touched and transformed. Say hallelujah, somebody. May grace touch you today. I said, May grace touch you today. May grace touch you today. I said, May grace touch you today. The progressive grace, the sudden grace, the grace for empowerment, the grace for acceleration. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. We see the activity of grace in many ways. Uh, you know, uh, when, 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 when uh, the president of America, Obama, was having his second term uh, election campaign, uh, he was being dealt with by his, his, his competitor, Mitt Romney. 
and Romney was just dealing with him and we were all very nervous and it looks like the polls were going against Obama well God had told us that Obama would have to come back the second term so we were praying by faith but when we saw the horns of Romney <laughs> I'm telling you, we, we, we began to pray more. I said, Lord, 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 is this real? Is this going to happen? And the Lord spoke and said, there shall be a sign. It shall be a sign like a storm. And when this sign comes to pass, you will see a shift in the poles. Then suddenly there was a storm on the east coast, New Jersey, called Sandy. It hit America. And, and it, the way Obama responded was so classic. By the next day, his, the, the, the desire of the nation to have him back rose. He won the election. Because God has spoken to us that there will be a sign. When we saw it, we knew it was a prophetic move of God. Grace appears in many ways. It could be Jesus appearing to you. It could be a sign that will come and push you forward. It could be a storm that will, 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 will move others out of the way so you can move forward. Receive your grace. Say hallelujah, somebody. One more time, receive the grace. 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 Receive the grace in the name of Jesus. Well, so here, they were by the pool of Bethesda, the pool of grace, where they were impotent folks. In John chapter 9, there is another pool. Let's read from the, uh, the, uh, the first verse. John chapter 9, from verse 1. The Bible says, And Jesus passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, neither has this man seen nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night comes when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Let's pause here, verse 5. So here, Jesus Christ again, got into the city, and he, there was a blind man. Well, the first encounter was an impotent man. Now, this man was a blind man. This man's blindness must have been so terrible that they, they, they asked Jesus what went wrong. So, it must not have been glaucoma or onchocyciasis. Or any other biological, natural defect. It must have been such a terrible issue that the people of Israel were asking Jesus what really went wrong. That, that he was born so blind. Maybe he was born with eye sockets without eyeballs. Maybe eyeballs without any cornea or iris. I don't know what it is. But something must have been so wrong that they wanted to know if the parents had committed the most heinous sin. The Bible says, and Jesus Christ said, well, this man's blindness was not because his father had seen, nor he had seen, but that the glory of God might be revealed through him. Well, my question is, if God's glory must be revealed, should, should he be blind? Lord, 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 your ways are past finding out. You want to glorify your name in this man and you allow him to be blind? To go through all the torture of the, 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 the dysfunctional lifestyles of a blind man because you wanted him to glorify your name? How many years was he blind from his birth? How old was he? I don't know, but hypothetically, let's say he was 30 years old. So, for 30 years, he was blind, embarrassed, dejected, rejected, misfortuned, unfortunated by lifestyles of, of, of issues of life. And Christ said that God must be glorified. Who am I speaking to today here? 
I don't know for you to be going through stuff like this and somebody says God wants to glorify his name in your life. Oh, really? Oh, really? Thank you, Lord. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Jesus responded and said, so long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Well, it is very interesting to, to see that the man was blind. And Jesus was saying, I am the light of the world. The truth is that it takes light to see. It takes light to see. So if he is not seeing, it's because he, he, he didn't have light. And he is saying that I am the light of the world. So I am the light that he didn't have. That's why he was blind. But now that I am here, I have come to supply light so he could see. The, 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 the issue of sight is the issue of vision. So sometimes in life, you can have natural eyes, but not have the light of the spirit for vision. Say hallelujah, somebody. I speak today because I believe that God is about to heal some visions today. And on this path, God is about to begin to bring visions your way. Dreams and visions you never had. Which, which was the reason why you never had the, 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 the inspiration to rise up above the average. Receive light today. I say receive light today. May you live this path with the anointing of light that will make you see. Ladies and gentlemen, the first part of the message was an impotent foe who was paralyzed and dismembered. This one is a blind man who had no eyes and no light. Say hallelujah. Verse 6, please. It says that when he had first spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with a clay. So Jesus went, excuse me, bah, and he bent down and made clay out of the, the sputum as an, 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 an gentlemanly as it was. That was what he did. The Messiah the greatest gentleman on the earth went by. But a gruesome thing. I don't like to really do it again, but, but that's what he, he did. Thank you. So he picked it up and anointed his eyes. The Bible says anointed. Somebody would have said, made, made, made a paste. And pierced his eyes. But the Bible says it was an anointing. How many of you would like an anointing like that? If your pastor will come here and do the same thing, let's have an anointing service. And he, he just goes, <laughs> brr. Say hallelujah, somebody. Well, the Bible says that. And he, 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 he anointed the eyes of the gentleman. When this man had received this anointing, Jesus Christ told him to go and, and wash his eyes. But before I go any further, let's go into the, a little bit of the biology of the spittle. You know, in the, in the case study of DNAs, uh, we take DNAs from the blood. But the most potent DNA, the most accurate, is the sputum. The, the doctor is a groom, so he shouldn't talk now. The most accurate of DNA testing is the sputum. Much more potent than the blood. So Jesus, when he, when he spat on the ground, it was the DNA of the divine. The DNA of the most high God. The DNA of the creator of this boy. 
when he released his DNA, oh my goodness, the Bible says we were made in his image and after his likeness. That's why they can call it an anointing. Because it was the DNA, the very life, the very, the, 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 the very essence of Jehovah. No wonder it produced healing. Say hallelujah. Well, I release this anointing upon your eyes today. May you begin to see spiritually, prophetically, in the dimension that makes life extraordinary. The Bible says, and when he had received the anointing of the mixed clay and sputum, let's read on. The Bible says, and he said unto him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation saint. He went his way, therefore, and washed and came seeing. Receive the anointing today. The first one was grace for galloping progress. The next one is the anointing for sight. Now, this is the same Jesus using di different modules for different cases. I've realized in the Bible that God has never used the same module twice. This is the only time I've seen the Bible where Jesus Christ used sputum to heal the, at the eye. He never re repeated it. But today, there's so much grace available here for you to walk in the galloping progress of grace and to receive sight for your increase. Say hallelujah, somebody. Receive vision. I say 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 receive vision. There is, there, is, there is vision that brings you to the level that no one else can bring you. But when that vision is myopic, it brings limitations, it brings restrictions. You don't see what you should see. But when God opens your eyes, he prolongs the days of your dreams when he brings light into your vision. I have a feeling on this fast, God is about to visit most of you. This is a very incredible fast. Where your eyes are about to be open, you will begin to see dreams, you begin to write poems, you begin to write uh, books and songs and things which you've never ever known you could ever write. Receive vision. Receive the empowerment of this vision. See hallelujah somebody. Well so the Bible says there was a pool called Siloam and the interpretation was saint. The first pool was grace, Bethesda. The second pool was Siloam, saint. So Jesus Christ sent him to go and wash in a pool called sand. He goes to wash his eyes and he began to see. Now, why would God keep him blind until that day? Why would God preserve him for a moment like that? I've seen God do the same thing also for a lady called Hannah. When God shut her womb which he opened afterwards. Why does God do things like that? Create a womb, shut it for a season, open it later on, create eyes, make it blind to open another time. God can use any part of your life and your body to glorify his name. What I'm saying is that there is no situation in your life that is redundant to the power of God. Say hallelujah, somebody. There is a reason why God allows you to go through what you go through. There's a reason why he is, he is waiting for an appointed time. And there's a reason why you are hearing this message today. And I, I believe that we are about to see the combination of the pool of Siloam and the pool of Bethesda. If I were you, I'll lift up my hands and give God some praise. I'll give God some praise right now. Say hallelujah, somebody. Well, what Jesus Christ said was that this man's blindness was for the glory of God. Well, let's analyze this a little bit. If this man's blind eyes was to bring glory to God, then we will say that possibly he was supposed to be the next Bill Gates in the city, the next sponsor of, of, of evangelism in the city, 
He was supposed to be the man who would change the whole city from paganism to, to, to following Jesus. This man's life was to bring glory to God. Which means the, the kind of blessing this man was supposed to walk in after his sight came was supposed to be extraordinary. A blessing that would bring blessings to people. A blessing that would cause others to walk in their blessings. A blessing that would cause others to know God. A blessing that would cause others to serve God. A blessing that would cause others to go after God. What sort of a blessing that was, it was worth waiting. Say hallelujah. Receive that, that anointing. May this ministry cause others to see their blessings. May this ministry cause others to walk in their glory. May you, be, may you understand that nothing you've gone through or you will ever go through will be wasted. God has a plan for your life. I hear the sound of the wind of blessings. I hear the sound of the wind of vision. I hear the sound of the wind of grace. Say Hosanna somebody. Say Hosanna somebody. Somebody's womb is about to be opened to produce a baby that will bring a blessing. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the grace that abounds for others to see the glory of God. Oh, what kind of blessing do you want? The blessing that brings glory to God. What kind of blessing are you perceiving? The blessing that brings glory to God. What kind of vision are you looking for? The vision that brings glory to God. What kind of dreams are you having? The dreams that bring glory to God. Not just glory to your family, but glory to God. Say hallelujah. Receive the anointing. I said receive the anointing. I said receive the anointing. May your prosperity bring glory to God. Do you know what that means? There are different levels of glory. There are prosperities that make the family shine. And that's all. There are some that make a city shine. And that's all. But there are others that make the whole world shine. Oh, may your life bring glory to God. I said, may your life bring glory to God. May your life bring glory to God. I said, may your life bring glory to God. What are we stepping into? We are stepping into a dimension of favor, a dimension of grace, a dimension of glory that will cause nations, nations to bow before our God. Can you pray in the Holy Ghost for one second, please? Just pray in the Holy Ghost and release this anointing upon your life. Just activate this atmosphere. 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 We are on a fast. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Bible says that he was sent to go wash his face. As we pray, may you begin to wipe your eyes with the anointing that will give you deeper visions, higher visions. Lift your voice. Let's begin to pray right now. Your eyes shall see the glory of God. Your eyes shall see the glory of God. Your eyes shall see the glory of God. Your eyes shall bring visions and dreams, business plans, business ideas, business ideas. May you see what nobody sees. May you understand what nobody else understands. There is grace. 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 Abounding grace. Abounding grace. Incredible grace. Oh. Open my eyes, Lord. 
Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes, Lord. Give me vision that glorifies your name. Lord, give me vision that glorifies your name. Lord, give me vision that glorifies your name. Give me vision that glorifies your name. Oh, Receive the pool of the test of our strength, the pool of silo and provision, receive the combination of the pool of the test and the pool of silo. Arise, O God. Rakirimarusandaria, <laughs> Rakaya Diria Payanduria, Rikala Satiria Dalia, Rikaya Kalikaria, Rakaya Diria, Apayuria Diria Daya, Rakaya Diria Paturia, Lebra Sataria Diria, Rika Jesus name. When Jesus put his sputum and made clay, the DNA of God came upon the man's eye. Which means that vision from heaven's dimension connected to his blind eyes. And when he began to see, he began to see from the perspective of heaven's glory. May we pray one more time that God will put upon your spirit heaven's perspective. Concerning anything you Jesus. will see. Concerning anything you will dream about. Lift your voice and let's pray right now. Alabas and the Cabrio Sande Lebranda. Heaven's perspective. Lebros Calabra de Lebarus. Not the earthly perspective. The heaven's perspective. Dream about and everything we see. Heaven's perspective. That you will see. In the name of Jesus. As heaven sees. Spirit of God. So you will function. To see heaven's perspective. Of heaven's perspective. And anything that we see, O God. Heaven's perspective. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, heaven's perspective, may the scales of natural sight, natural perception, natural limitations, natural restrictions, be removed, that you may have heaven's perspective, heaven's revelation in your sight, in your eyes, concerning your life, past, present, and future. 
Multi-dimensional vision. Pray for multi-dimensional vision. Multi-dimensional vision. Multi-dimensional vision. May your vision be multi-dimensional. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus name. That is what is called the multi-dimensional vision. For example, crude oil. Out of crude oil, you can get petrol of different dimensions. You can get grease. You get diesel. You can get gas. Lift your voice one more time. Let's ask God to give you multi-dimensional visions. Lift your voice and let's pray right now. Multi-dimensional visions. Multi-dimensional visions. Multi-dimensional visions. Of Jesus. Let the grace in the name of Jesus. Multi-dimensional visions. Multi-dimensional visions. Multi-dimensional visions. Multi-dimensional visions. Multi-dimensional visions. Multi-dimensional visions. Multi-dimensional Multi-dimensionally bringing this church bringing this church into much 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 more much 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 more much much more much 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 more much 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 more much 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 more much much more much 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 more much much I see obstacles being removed. Multi dimensional vision. Multi dimensional. I say multi dimensional. I say multi dimensional. Oh, Rafa Shah. May your children have multi dimensional purpose. Multi dimensional vision. May your business. Your families may they receive multi-dimensional grace to function, to function, to function. Far above the natural, far above the ordinary. Rekele barusha talia, olobosa barisha talia, aikirele barusha biandeleka, rekele barusha talia, rele barusha karababa, rele barusha apayuria talia. Rakala <laughs> Rakaya how excellent is thy name in all the earth? How excellent! 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 Receive the outpouring! How excellent! 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 How excellent!
Rakaya Tiriala, 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 that his healing brought a controversy. And many of the Pharisees were questioning why Jesus Christ would heal in such a dimension on a Sabbath day. They went to question this man, verse 25. Let's all read verse 25. They were troubling this man, and this is what he had to say. The Bible says, and he answered and said, Whether he or Jesus be a sinner or not, I know not. But one thing I know, whereas I was blind, now I can see. Whereas I was blind, now I can see. Amen. Well, may you leave this, 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 this incredible fasting Jesus. saying, Whereas I was blind, Jesus. now I could see. Amen. Whereas I was lacking, Yes. Now I have abundance. Amen. Lift your voice and begin to connect to this language. That you are no more out coming out of this past with the same state in which you are. Whereas you were blind. Whereas you were living. Now you can see. Whereas you were living. Now you can see. Whereas you were blind. Now you can see. Now you can see. Now you can see. In the name of Whereas you were poor, now you are rich. Whereas you were sick, now you are healed. Whereas you were barren, now you have proof. Whereas you were short sighted, now you are you whole holders of sight. Whereas you were limited, now you have abundance. Receive a shift. Receive a shift. Receive a shift. Receive a shift. Receive a ship. 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 All of us. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I receive. I receive the outpouring. The outpouring of your exceptional grace. Of your exceptional grace. For strength. For strength. For vision. For vision. For grace. For grace. And for glory. And for glory. My life. My life. Shall glorify. Shall glorify. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord. In my profession. In my profession. In my thinking. In my thinking. In my words. In my words. In my going in. In my going in. And my coming out. And in my coming out. Nothing. Nothing. In my life. In my life. Shall be important. Shall be important. That must be used. That must be used. To the glory of God. That the glory of God. I receive. I receive. Incredible outpouring. Incredible. Incredible outpouring of the master's anointing of the master's anointing Jesus Jesus my master my master my light my light my vision my giver my vision giver I receive I receive 
insight, insight for foresight. For foresight, I will never, I will never come out of this past. Come out of the past. The same. The same. Whereas, whereas I was limited, I was limited in an area, in an area. Never again, never again. Will I see? Will I see those limitations? Those limitations. I shall arise. I shall arise and prevail. And prevail. I shall be. I shall be the shining star. The shining star. I was born to be. I was born to be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I lay hold. 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 On the grace of God. The grace of God. That brings glory. That brings glory to a man's life. To a man's life. Now pray and give God thanks for this. Give God thanks for this. Thank you, Father. Give God thanks for this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Give God thanks, Lord. Give God thanks for God. Give God thanks for God. For the release of your grace and blessing. Thank you, God. Give God thanks. For what you've done in our lives, Give God thanks. Even during this time Give of God fasting thanks. and prayer. Thank Give you, God Lord. Thank you, God. Libros Kuria Bares Dadiria. Thank you. Libros Kuros Dibrakaliala. Libros Kalama Zikaliriala. Libros Kororos Zibrandiria. Librasa. Jesus' name. Jesus' Say, name. Amen. Amen. Well, before we take our seats, I. I, I have a feeling next year is going to be a year for financial release. Amen. I have a feeling that shifts are going to come your way. Amen. I see the four winds of prosperity coming your way. Amen. God does not give you vision unless he has something to do with it. Amen. And when he gives vision, he brings provision. Amen. I want us to, to connect to the provisionary dimension of God's future for you next year. Jesus. Say hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And I want us to, to, to sow a seed Jesus. for this purpose. Jesus. That next year, you will lack no provision. Jesus. That next year, you will lack no provision. Jesus. I said that next year, you will lack no adequate provision. Say Amen. hallelujah, somebody. There will be nothing like, I need to go to, to, to London, but I don't have the money for my ticket. May God provide when there is a need. Amen. Say hallelujah. Amen. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, and I need as many as can come and sow a seed into that kind of grace. Where you will never lack anything that God brings your way. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Say amen. 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 Well, well, I need you to just come forward. I want to just pray for the release of the grace that will give you provisions in the years to come. Just come forward. I just want to just lay hands on you and declare this day that anything in your family life that might have brought a Jesus. 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 What I sense is just if you can just sow a seed of, of hundred dollars, just hundred dollars, just receive. Jesus, Father, I pray for the release of mega provisions. And oh Jesus, my God. Mega provisions. Mega provisions. I said mega provisions. In the name of Jesus. Mega provisions. Mega provisions. Mega provisions. Receive. Grace for mega provisions. Into your hand. Thank you. Into your hand. You will never lack. May God shift in the power circumstances your, your way. And I am yours May you never lack. Forever. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'd like us to deal with one more thing. From last night in prayer, I've been seeing a casket right here. And, you know, I want us to deal with it. And it is connected to a prominent personality. But it shall not come to pass. I say it shall not come to pass. Amen. I say it shall not come to pass. Amen. Lift up your hands. Let's come against that spirit of death Jesus that uh, it is called the spirit of slow death Jesus this person is being killed very systematically but it will not prosper Jesus name lift your voice and let's pray in the name of Jesus, Karabu Zindi Kaliri Allah, every assignment of death, every assignment of death, every orchestration from the pit of hell, hey, take anyone before their time. Father, we crush it, we block it, we bring it to love by the reason of the blood. Liberate Katuri and the Kaliria, let the blood of Jesus bring deliverance, let the blood of Jesus block every assignment of death in the in the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the Jesus, name. Let's hold on in twos. Let's hold on in twos. Just, Jesus. just agree. Now let's pray one more time. We break the power of death. Jesus. We break the power of death. Jesus. The name. covenant of death. Jesus. This assignment shall not stand. In the name of Jesus. It will not prosper. In the name of Jesus. We curse its root. In the name of Jesus. We curse its foundation. In the name of Jesus. We curse its mission. In the name of Jesus. We curse its vision. In the name of Jesus. We curse its plot. In the name of Jesus. We curse its plan. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We reverse it. Yes, Lord. Back to sender. Jesus. Back to sender. In the name of 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 Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Keep holding your hands together. When you buy something, you lose something else. Yes. So let's lose life. Amen. Let's lose life. Yes, Lord. Let's lose potency. Jesus. Let's lose vision. Jesus. Man. That let's prolong the days of this personality. Jesus. Lift man. your voice and let's pray right now. Speak life. Speak life. We release Speak life. the God kind of You shall life. live and not die. And long glorify long the name of the Lord. Satisfied with this life. person Heart shall not shall be cut off before time. In the name of we Jesus. We will not be cut off before time. You shall see the glory of God. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Le kaluria tali kaliri anda baru. Yama masa. Let the wind of heaven, the life of heaven, the glory of God, release. Le broskaria taliri andi. Pepa for life. Le kiri barasa. Pepa for life. Le broskaruri andi. Pepa for life. Le broskalandi kaluri andi. Pepa for life. Re kalakayuri andi. Rakaya katiri andi. Shele bosa. Katiria katandiria. Re kere bosa. Shele bosa. Katiria. Rakatalia katiri andi. Rakaya katiri andi. Amen. Jesus name. One more thing. I saw a baby. In the choir, lift it up. It's, it's as if a parent is lifting up a baby before the Lord for a breakthrough. Jesus' name. Lift your voice and let's pray. Let's deal with that. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that this assignment against any baby or any parent in the choir is aborted. It shall not stand. We speak life to every baby that's in the choir. Babies yet to be born. We speak life. We speak life. Hey, work a work. Hey, work a miracle. Rabba, Shabro, Zatiria. Rakaya, Katiria, Nilia, Barusa. Lekiria.
Ayata yandi kiri andalia Lebros katuri andalia Rakaya katiri andalia Lebras katuri andaba sindiria Rakaya andalia baru setiria Rekaluria tabaru sandikaliria Rakaya andalia baburu ya sandiria Lekiri atala luri andakaliria Jesus mighty name declare that no one shall die before Christmas and after Christmas. Jesus name. That any assignment of death Jesus. against any person or group of persons Jesus. by the token of the blood and yes, by the Lord. prayers of the saints it Jesus. is cancelled in Jesus name. Jesus name. We pray that the Lord shall give us life and protect us in amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. Give the Lord a mighty hand. If you haven't bring, brought your offerings, uh, just add up to it. If you haven't brought the offerings, if you haven't given your offering, please do that. Hallelujah. What do we say to the man of God? Brother Emmanuel, thank you very much. Friday and today you've been a great and a blessing to us. We cherish your ministry. We like the prophetic dimensions of your ministry and the way you preach it. We have received it. Our eyes are open. We, have, we, are, we are anointed spiritually with the DNA of God. And we can see our lives clearly. May you see life clearly. May you not, may you not be defeated before the year and after the year. Say amen. May the Lord direct your path. May you see your way clearly in life. In Jesus' name. Amen. The fast is finishing this week. And all those of us who have not joined the fast, I'm encouraging you to finish up with the fast, especially on a Friday uh, all night service. There's going to be healings, deliverances, impartations, anointings, and all that. So don't miss it. And then we have morning service, not morning prayer meetings, it's a morning service. It starts from 9 a.m., finishes at 12. And the speakers who speak in the evening, they are the ones who speak in the mornings. And it's been so great. It's, it takes place at the um, traveling chapel. And it's a full scale service. And I pray that you will find time to come. Say hallelujah. And then uh, we have a communion service next week, Sunday. Then the 11th of December is an all white uh, Thanksgiving uh, service where we are coming to the altar by families husband, wife, children, household, grandmother, grandfather, grand, whatever. Part. and those of you who are not married but you have your fia a fiancé you are, you are moving with bring him or her come to the altar and, and, and let the Lord accelerate your relationship Amen don't bring somebody's husband or somebody's wife bring somebody that you, are, that you are dating and then we are also bringing our thanksgiving offerings and we are going to use our thanksgiving to air condition and glaze our jubilee hall and the bookshop so we have a budget of about one around 50,000. We pray that we'll meet the target. There will also be Kofi Enama and all that, and they will glaze the place. Say amen. We are meeting all um, Dickens, Dickens, and um, heads of department, and anybody who is in this church that has been given a leadership role, an executive role, you belong to the executive, choir executive, protocol executive, uh, uh, prepared dimension executive, leaders, all leaders of this church, we are meeting with you on the 5th of December at the Traveling Chapel for our end of year pastors and leaders meeting to spell out the vision of the church, what we are going to do coming year and all that. A lot of things to talk about. So don't miss it. Hallelujah. Prayer convocation at Anakazo Bible Institute. Last year we were there, ready to pay for our bills and things. And Bishop Dr. Gilbert Mills said, this is his first fruit. We are the first outside church from lighthouse to use the place so it is his first fruit for us so we didn't pay anything last year but this year he hasn't said anything so we are paying for our going say amen and so register at the end of the service at the uh, at the at outside there and uh, we are spending two nights we are going thursday and coming on Saturday. we'll sleep two nights and per night we are paying 40 cities for for sleeping say amen and then uh, we are going to pay for water. They, they, they generate their own water. They generate their own electricity. So we are paying for the water and the electricity and then the use of their great hall for the prayers and everything. There will be free transport from here to and from the Anakazo uh, Bible School. 
but you are paying for the accommodation. So start registering and start paying now if you have the money. It's going to be the first week of um, uh, January, beginning from the 5th to the 7th. It's going to be, and we are going to have a 24-hour prayer chain. Some of you have never prayed 24 hours before. But when we, 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 we land on Thursday night, the whole of Thursday we are arriving, midnight, from 10 to midnight, we just pray and sleep. Then when we wake up on Friday morning, we are praying till Saturday morning. You pray when you are tired, you sleep, you eat, you do something else, and then you come back. But the prayer will be on. It's not a time of fasting, except you want to covenant God with some fasting. And then um, you come with your families to come and pray. Say amen. The 11th of January uh, uh, um, um, Thanksgiving uh, is very important to the church. What did I say? Okay, December. It's because the whole year, God has done so much for you. And we are taking one day, one Sunday to say thank you. So don't miss that particular day. Say amen. And then say something. Testify. God has done so many things for you. Some of you are shy to testify. If you can't testify, write your testimony and give it to the resident pastor. You will read it whilst you are standing beside him. Say amen. Say something how God has helped you. Testify to the glory of God. Say amen. We overcome the enemy by our testimony. So I see you testify. You want to take about five or six testimonies per service. So be ready. And it's going to be a time of where we wear white. Wear anything white. Wear, let there be white in your, uh, your attire. White shoe. White trousers. White handkerchief. White glasses. White watch. White something. Let it be white in, your, in everything you wear. Say amen. White brazier. White pants. White shorts. White boxer shorts. Let there be white in it. You are wearing <laughs> white boxer shorts. School of Ministry is still on Monday and Tuesday, and we are graduating uh, in January. Hallelujah. All right, so that'll be all for today. Are you happy you came to church? When we close, Reverend Ziga will still be around. Come around him and let him know that anytime he's here, he's a blessing to us. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, shall we rise and close the service? If you have been in this church for a while and you want to be a member of the church, when we close, please come here. There will be somebody standing here to take you. And then those of you who took envelopes from Bishop Bernard, make sure that we have it today. Today is the deadline. Latest by tomorrow when we are coming to service. Please bring it. Say amen. Hallelujah. Are you there? Okay. What else? We are done. Okay. Who is winning the elections? JM or PPP. PPP. All right. This place is a voting center. Are you aware? So we are going to vote here. We know who is winning here. PPP. <laughs> All right. Your hands are lifted. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, Jesus.